We have released a basic sample character and uh, now we will try to create a new character based on it with the same feature that are provided. So, uh, what do we need first of all? First of all, we will need an, to draw an uh, image of uh, the character if so in some uh, raster application or you can draw it on paper or and scan it or you can use uh, my paint uh, or GIMP or Krita or anything you like. Okay, but I already have an image so let's go to the mm, custom directory and uh, you will see several uh, character images made by my students let's select uh, one of them I like uh, this one uh, hacker okay so we will create this character so uh, first uh, what we need we have already several characters here uh, and uh, we just copy a character sample dot mail uh, directory okay let's uh, call it character hacker if you remember all character directories should start with the character word and we have an extension we can put an extension at the end uh, with the type so this is a female character let's uh, continue yeah, let's close this one and uh, okay, we will be doing a front side, front view for sure. Let's click it. Okay. So the next step, what we are going to do is. Uh, now we need to import an image, a draft image of our character. So go ahead, click the menu, import, uh, where is it? It's here. Okay, let's scale it. I think this is enough and we need to put it below our basic character uh, next thing that we need uh, is uh, I think we should hide uh, those helper widgets go to the child panel and uh, click uh, the widget amount switch yeah now let's uh, make it a little bit smaller mm, maybe well that's okay and uh, let's make uh, the character template a bit transparent by changing the amount parameter this okay so now let's move it okay now we need to put uh, our character in the same uh, in, the sa in the same position like our draft in the same pose so let's uh, go to the sets tab and uh, double click the first set icon stk control and we will see green dots so let's uh, set the center of the body then uh, legs uh 
Hence, uh, shoulders, uh -huh. and head. Head is too small in this case, but. Uh, it's uh, it's okay for now because we are going to uh, victories retrace it anyway. So next thing that you might notice it that uh, this character uh, still uses uh, the um, hands and uh, legs from the male character template. That's because we haven't uh, updated it. Let's close the file and uh, go into the shared resources directory to run this script. This script will update um, resources for all characters according to their type, male or female. Our character is female, so it will get a female set. Okay, let's run the script. Okay, successful. And now we can reopen our character. Yeah, you probably noticed that uh, it got different. Uh, let me hide this. It got different uh, foods and uh, different uh, hands. Well, but I don't really like such foods for this character. So uh, I think we'd better go with the male type assets. Okay, let's get back and change them back to male. And uh, we need to run the update character scripts script again. Done. Okay. Yes, with mail type type it looks better. Okay. The next thing uh, that we need to do is to get rid of automatic stretches. At the moment, if we will scale our, our character, uh, its parts are... If we will change the pose of our character, its parts are automatically stretched. And uh, when we read, when we read the character, we need to reset those stretches. Why we need to do that? Uh, because uh, when we have some pose, some parts are already in the stretched, already stretched. And uh, if we will trace in the stretched mode, then we can get some distortions. Let me demonstrate. Let's create uh, some curve. Let's, let's save because I'm afraid it could crash. Outline, okay. A curve like this. Oh, it's very thin. Uh -huh, maybe because I have pressure sensitivity. Sensitivity. I'm not sure. Let's see. Ah, zero. Thickness is zero. Okay. I need to change the line thickness. Okay, uh, this is better. And uh, if uh, I'll group and apply a distortion, uh, distortion, distortion, uh, stretch. Yeah, and uh, let's 
make a stretch. Uh, let's make a significant stretch. For example, mm, from here, like this, and maybe even more. And uh, you probably can see that uh, the those lines they are have non uh, consistent uh, thickness now uh, so the horizontal parts are too th thin and the, the, uh, the vertical parts are too thin and horizontal parts are too thick and if we will start uh, drawing anything else in this mode add more lines they all will get such distortion. Uh, of course, this makes an impact to the visual parts. That's why we need to um, disable the stretches when we do the rigging of the character. So, let's go for it. Uh, to disable the stretches, we need to run the plugin. This is the most quick way to do that. The plugin is called Skeleton Disable Stretches. Click yes. And uh, after some mo a few moments, we will have uh, our character with stretches disabled. Y you can see uh, the character is uh, looks like a broken into pieces now and if we will try to change his pose you see there is no stretching now that's it okay let's uh, change this transparency again and uh, fix the pose back. Yeah. Okay, we have fixed the pose as much as we could. So now let's try to modify uh, the contents of our character template. Um, let's get the color of his uh, of his uh, of her jeans. Get the pistol, eyedropper, and then use the fill tool to apply the color here. And uh, the same for the. part yes. that's it now we can also edit the skin color just uh, get the color and uh, let's go click onto any part onto any hand and uh, let's look for the solid color layer on top of it and uh, apply this color to it. That's it. Now the skin color is applied everywhere. Now let's start uh, fixing our character to the proper shape. Let's save first and uh, let's go. Let's make the legs a little wider. I don't want the legs as wide as uh, they are on the draft. So I will not follow the draft here. But still, just click and edit the lines. And uh, here too. Like 
like this. And like this. Those round things, the, this is the, the covers that allow to and allow to uh, uh, make the parts without the it cover the gaps between the parts when they are stretched or something else. Okay. Now, let's do the same for the hands, quickly. Uh -huh. This is pretty good enough. And uh, for the body, I don't want to modify the body, I'd better to recreate it from the scratch. So I'm clicking the, on the body and selecting in the layers list uh, everything what inside of the content group. Almost everything. Except the last layer because I need it. And trash. And the last layer, uh, I need the last layer, it is hidden because uh, I need something to create on top of it. So, let's start. Mm, let's get a draw tool and uh, make a, something quick. Of course, it's better to victorize uh, using the <laughs> Uh, beeline tool, but in this case, oh, it's line only. Okay, trash it. I need a region. But in this case, I would like to have a quick vectorization. Just show you how it works. Okay, and uh, also maybe maybe this part. Yes, let's get the color. Yeah, it's something like this. And we need a neck. Okay, let's get the skin color and uh, draw a neck. For some reason, the color is different. Yeah, this is the correct one. Okay. Now we have uh, our character fit to the model, uh, but not the head. So let's uh, try to make a head. The head uh, is supposed to be vectorized, vectorized or traced right here, right in the character uh, template. So I would like um, to just click uh, the head of the character and go outside here the layer selected and go outside of the mimic switch layer. That's it. And maybe outside of mimic control group too. Yeah. So I selected in this layer and uh, the new layers will be created on top of my current selection. 
and uh, I will hide the layer and is2 uh, oh it's a widget uh, is can to so they will not get in my way okay so next uh, I'm going to vectorize the head uh, let's get the color and uh, I will make a quick drawing like this you can correct anything if you, li if you like uh, okay now the eyes like this and uh, yeah. then you can select the, this tool and uh, correct the outline thin thickness as you like to make an artistic look for your image or maybe add uh, new points something like this now let's uh, put the eyes in the group Put the fields down and on top of the fields let's draw the pupils. Uh, okay. mm, that's bad. Let's try to make it more carefully. This and this and the uh, inside thing is oh it's bad mm -hmm. something like this now I select the created layers polarize and uh, group them and make the uh, blend method uh, on two so they are automatically cropped and will not go outside of the eyes now I can add uh, some details let's make uh, a line a little bit thicker it will be funnier so disable the region oh I think I have to enable pressure sensitivity where is it yeah here mm. oh not very good okay well I can fix that later like this, like this, like this, and like this. And uh, I can fix it now. Okay. So the face is basically done. Now let's go for the hairs. Okay, let's put uh, those hairs. Uh, the hairs are consist of two parts the top hairs and the bottom hair so let's first draw the top hairs okay 
let's make them a little bit gray or maybe black is okay and uh, let's start drawing create region and start Okay, and uh, bottom hairs. Let's go to the last layer and uh, add the uh, uh, bottom hairs. Like this. Now we have our character basically vectorized. Of course, uh, I have done it, with it with very quickly and dirty. And if you like, you can spend more char more time on vectorizing your character. But uh, for demonstration, I think uh, this is enough. Let's uh, get back to the non-transparent view yeah. so now uh, we have to put uh, our character head in the library because at the moment we have no mimic for him for, for her and no control for the uh -huh have some okay it's not controlled by the template so we need to put the head into the library let's select uh, all the head layers from here to here I think this is the head Let's try to group. Yes, this is the head. Uh, let's uh, cut it. And uh, if you remember, of character elements are stored in the uh, resources folder inside of the uh, character directory. So let's go to resources folder. And uh, this is a front view of the head, so let's open the head zero. That's our old um, head. And we need to pass uh, our copied head right in top, in the very top of this file. Like this, I guess. Okay, and uh, the old head could be removed, that's it. Next, uh, what uh, we're going to do is uh, to, you can enable KF marks layer, and uh, next what we're going to do is to Add the, to make the mimic for this character uh, to make uh, the mimic for the smile and for the side so we can uh, go to every keyframe and tune the character as we like uh, for corresponding mimic shape uh, let's go for it and uh, Go to the happy keyframe first and go to animation mode. Next, uh, we need to set the constant, uh, constant uh, interpolation and let's make uh, her smile. Oh, looks like a little bit creepy. But anyway, 
let's make you less angry. So at first keyframe we have this, this, uh, he's already angry here so I think I'd better to modify, I'd better modify the first keyframe, neutral should be not that, uh, not that aggressive. Like this. And next uh, there go the... Uh, phonetic sounds so we can draw the la the mouth of the m sound or p or b uh, I will not do this right now uh, because my time is limited but I think you've got the idea so let's uh, see uh, we, let's ensure we have all airs enabled and uh, Let's enable the widgets and now we can change her mimic. Okay, good. But uh, there, are, there should be also a control for the eyes. Uh, and we have eyes of the old character here. So we need to create an eyes li a library element for eyes as well. Uh, Let's say this and uh, go here. We have uh, head zero eyes file where the only the eyes stored are there. And here we have uh, positions for closed eyes, uh, left, uh, right, etc. So let's ha open the he head uh, uh, better this way. Yeah. And uh, I need to cut the eyes from here. Yeah, this uh, only the eyes without the eyebrows. So I, I would like to keep the eyebrows in this file. Okay, let's cut them and paste here. So the eyes only. And also, it could be possible that you have a character that have the hairs overlapping uh, the eyes. In this case, uh, you need to cut the hairs as well. Because otherwise the eyes will be on top of hairs and this will... This is going to be a weird look look weird okay so here yeah. control control x yes and uh, go to the eyes let's paste on top of everything here and remove all the rest and here we do the same as for the mimic we just make the closed eyes oh. eyes move it uh, left right this is very easy if you have eyes grouped up and down <laughs> that is weird but anyway okay so we made the eyes okay so we can control the eyes now I guess yes That's it. We have made the character. Oh, and I forgot one, one thing. We have disabled the stretches. Uh, but uh, after we 
drawn our character, we need to get them back. And uh, let me show how to get the stretches back because right at the moment uh, you see there is there are no stretches set up. Uh, for the stretches there is no plugin. You have to enable each stretch uh, separate separately. Uh, so you just go to the sets panel this group and uh, you will see eight stretches for each part one two three four five six seven eight so this is very good because uh, maybe in some cases you don't need uh, a stretch for the hands or for the legs so you can choose which one to enable so let's go for it uh, select the double click the first stretch in the group it will be selected then and uh, on the parameters panel uh, right click on the amount parameter and click and select disconnect that's it i know this is looks like a magic combination but uh, believe me it works so double click next and uh, disconnect it too i need to for my case I need to disconnect I would like to disconnect uh, all the uh, parameters so I will have all stretches enabled this might uh, look kind of weird disconnected disconnecting enables the stretching but this is how it works okay and the uh, last one connect disconnect okay uh, now let's try to change the character pose and you see it is stretching now it's not uh, might be perfect in the pending parts but it, it's possible to tune it tune so at the end you will get your character moving pretty smoothly without uh, his uh, uh, legs breaking or splitting into parts oh, I don't like this let's make it like this so after some uh, tuning you can get the working character also we can change the order of the layers uh, to put the uh, uh, foots on top of the body foot here mm, maybe hip uh, or maybe make the body lower I'm not sure let's try it Mm, no, I'm not sure. Okay, anyway, if you will trace uh, the character more accurately than I did just now, I'm sure you will go get uh, much better results. So, this is everything what I wanted to talk about today. And uh, I think this should be enough to create the your own character based on the character template. So thank you for attention, goodbye.